This is section 8.1. We're going to classify quadrilaterals. Before we do that, we better know what a quadrilateral is. A quadrilateral is a closed figure with four sides or segments and four vertices. So here's some examples of what quadrilaterals look like. Four sides. They're closed. You got four segments and four vertices. These ones are not quadrilaterals. This one isn't closed. This is not a segment. There's a lot of segments here, way more than four. There's only three segments here. And these segments cross each other. So the segments of a quadrilateral intersect only at their endpoints. So that's why this guy isn't a quadrilateral. There's types of quadrilaterals, like parallelograms. Parallelograms would be shapes like rectangles, rhombuses, or rhombi, and squares. There's also trapezoids and kites, and we're going to talk about all of those shapes in our next video. We're going to name this quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals are named by listing their vertices in order. You can start anywhere and go in either direction when you name them. So, for example, you can name this quadrilateral A, B, C, D. As long as you go around the shape, you can start at any letter. So, for example, you could also name it quadrilateral B, A, D, C. What you don't want to do is start at a letter and then jump across the shape. You must go around in one direction or the other. So there's multiple ways to name any one quadrilateral using the vertices. In your assignment, they're going to ask you to name the parts of a quadrilateral, like the sides or the vertices or the angles. And what they're going to do is they're going to say, name some parts that are consecutive or non-consecutive. Consecutive just means they're next to each other. So just kind of make that note there because you're going to see this word. So what name two angles that are next to each other or name two sides that are next to each other. Non-consecutive is obviously not next to. So here's some examples. Segment PS and segment SR are consecutive sides. I know that because I can look at the picture. I also know that because if I just look at the name of the segments, notice how they both have an S. Consecutive sides share a vertex. The non-consecutive sides obviously don't share a vertex. So segment PS and segment QR are non-consecutive. These are actually considered opposite sides but they don't share vertex notice. Segments that join non-consecutive vertices of a quadrilateral are called diagonals. So I'm sure you've heard that term before. If you connect vertex Q with vertex S, notice how those are non-consecutive, that makes a segment, and that segment's called a diagonal because it connects the non-consecutive vertices. So let's do a couple examples. I'll change my color so we can see it a little better. We want to name all pairs of consecutive angles. So here's my shape, quadrilateral A, B, L, E. If I have this name, then I obviously know what's consecutive, because remember, you have to name them with the vertices in a consecutive order. Angle A and angle B are consecutive. I can tell because they're right next to each other. I also know that angle B is next to angle L. Angle L is also next to angle E. Now, don't forget the last one. Obviously, angle A and angle E are consecutive as well. You can tell right here. They share a side. Name all the pairs of non-consecutive vertices. Oh, we're talking about vertices. I wrote angle. If we're talking about vertices, that's a point. If we're talking about angles. That's why we have to have those angle marks. So point A is non-consecutive with point L. 
I know that because A is not next to L in the name, or I could just look at the picture. Point B is non-consecutive with point E. Again, same reason. You could look at the picture, or you could look at the name. These two vertices don't share a segment. That's the side of the quadrilateral. Name the two diagonals. Well, we just did this work. If you connect points B and E, that will make a segment, but it's not a side of the quadrilateral. That's why it's called the diagonal. So segment BE is a diagonal. Also, segment AL is a diagonal. Here's the same quadrilateral. Let's name all the pairs of consecutive sides. So now we're naming segments. Segment AB is next to segment BL. I can tell by looking at the picture, or I can look up here. AB, BL. Notice how they share point B. Segment BL is also consecutive with segment LE. Segment LE is consecutive with segment AE. Segment AE is consecutive with segment AB. Name all the pairs of non-consecutive sides. So we'll just start with segment AB. Segment AB is not next to which segment? Well, it's next to this one and this one. It's not next to this one. Notice how these segments don't share a vertex. That's why they're non-consecutive. Segment BL is non-consecutive with segment AE. So there's probably half of your worksheet in this section talks about naming these pairs of parts. Are they consecutive? Are they non-consecutive? That always seems to bother people. So this slide should help you a lot there.